I suppose for now we'll just have to go to Moaning Myrtle's bathroom. Remembering to check past passage through, see what he, what we missed. We might have missed something. Because yeah, because of Spongify. Spongify changes everything. Where are we? I'm in the transfiguration classroom. Oh yeah, thanks Harry for that information. Have we had transfiguration yet? I don't think we're even gonna have Transfiguration. Just interested in the secrets, McGonagall, but this looks like a bit like the Great Hall in that it is completely useless. And the Charms Classroom is over here, and probably equally useless, except for... Well, this is an obvious chest if I've ever seen one. And there we go. See? This filler episode is turning out pretty great, you guys. Let's go run. So, clue us in. Morning, mortal. What's been going on? It's all wet. It means we're gonna find the diary. There it is. Can't you throw something else at me? Someone threw something at you? Yes, they did. It's over there. Ooh. Spooky. People don't like Chamber of Secrets because they think it's a... Uh, they always put it on the bottom pile. Of the rankings of the books and the movies. Both. But I love Chamber of Secrets. It's definitely my favorite movie. And it's one of my favorite books. And it's not even... Oh. Oh, we're starting this already. I'm at Hogwarts and horrible stuff's been happening. Do you know about the Chamber of Secrets? Of course he does. Of course I know about the Chamber of Secrets. In my fifth year, the chamber was opened and the monster killed a girl. I caught the person who'd opened the chamber and he was expelled. I can show you if you like. Oh, we're going straight into it. Oh, that's cool. Oh, come on. This game is awesome. Did you see that transition? We get to play in the memory. There's a reason why I put this game at number two. It's all right. Come on out. There you go. Evening, Rubeus. 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 I don't think you meant to kill anyone, but monsters don't make good pets. It never killed no one. Come on. The least Hogwarts can do is make sure the thing that killed that girl is slaughtered. It wasn't him. He wouldn't. He never. Stand aside. Oh my god, that's so spooky. <laughs> that's awesome. That Harry was awesome. It's always known that Hagrid had an unfortunate liking for large, monstrous creatures. But he was equally certain that Hagrid would never mean to kill anybody. Riddle might have got the wrong person. Maybe oh, we're going straight into Aragog. How many monsters do you think this place can hold? We always knew Hagrid was expelled. And the attacks must have stopped then. Otherwise, Riddle wouldn't have got his award. Riddle's diary! It's gone! What? But... Only a Gryffindor could have stolen it. Nobody else knows our password. Exactly. Hmm. The voice! I just heard it again. Didn't you? I didn't hear anything. Harry, I think I've just understood something. I've got to go to the library. So that's when she gets petrified. And I've got to talk to Hagrid. If he set the monster loose last Yeah, yeah, he knows I get it. How to get we go to see Hagrid. We and come out of the forest. But you know that. But you know that. <laughs> but you know that. I love that aside, Ron. Thanks. Um, but yeah. So we go to we go to the to the um, to the forest, we come back, we figure out Hermione's petrified. Okay, I got the way the, the story's gonna 
it's gonna evolve. All right. So, I guess we're gonna just go down the story path. I mean, maybe we can do Aragog to today. Today. <laughs> what kind of pronunciation was that? We can do Aragog today, and then I'll wrap up. I'll check out what other stuff we have to do uh, before we we go to the final, um, final part of the game, which is probably gonna be going down to the Chamber of Secrets. No, oh, sorry guys. I'm we're actually closer to the to the end of the game than I thought. We haven't done any quidditch. Barely, which is weird. I'm going to see if this is like an optional thing. Maybe that's the way you get more points. I don't know. I'm doing this, you know, very relaxed. Someone who looks very much like Lucius Malfoy coming into Hagrid's heart. Oh, now you, we're going to hear it. We're not going to see it. Bad business, Hagrid. Oh, Very no. We, do we get to see Lucius? We do get to see Lucius. Have gone far enough. As chairman of the school governors, I've simply got to act and send you away. Away? Away to where? Not the wizard prison. Not Azkaban. I'm afraid so. A dreadful thing, Dumbledore. But all twelve of the governors feel it's time for you to step aside. As of this moment, you are suspended as headmaster of Hogwarts. If the governors want my removal, Lucius, I shall, of course, step aside. No! However, you will find that I will only truly have left this school when done... This line is always in the games, but never in the movies. The second one is in the movie. Um, but yeah, Voldemort, uh, Voldemort uh, Harry's loyalty to Dumbledore is a re... <laughs> I love how he just looks at us. <laughs> no, uh, Harry's loyalty to Dumbledore is a reoccurring theme in the books, especially in the second one. It's what causes the sword to come out of the hat. No, it's what causes Fox to go to the Chamber of Secrets with the hat. Sorry. We're gonna follow the spiders, and now Ron's gonna refuse to come. Hmm. I wonder what excuse they will they will have to. I'll give you a leg up, Harry. Okay, I've seen worse. I've seen worse excuses. Screw you, Ron. <laughs> Screw you. Always something. You. <laughs> so I can see you. I can see you over there. Ah, uh, you jerk. Alright, here we are. Aragog's lair. Uh, two Spongify things. And Acromantulas are everywhere, as you can clearly see. So, I'm guessing we have to build some sort of bridge. Bow truckles. Alright. Ah, I hit the... I hit the log, not the bow truckle. That was close. Um, but yeah. Anyway, I was saying way, way back, I love the Chamber of Secrets mystery. I think it's one of the best mysteries of the books. It's, I think the best mystery of the books is the Goblet of Fire mystery. Like, the whole thing with Barty Crouch. I mean, the whole thing doesn't make too much sense. And you can't really see it coming. There's no way that you can make that connection. There's no way that you're ever going to make the connection between... That's a really cool cave. Um... And for Cle the Cleodni card, that's cool. Uh, but there's no way that when you read Goblet of Fire, you can make the connection between Moody and Barty Crouch Jr. Especially because you only find out about Barty Crouch Jr. very late in the story. Um, but I still think that when it's all revealed, the Goblet of Fire mystery is so good that I, I still think it's the best one. But the Chamber of Secrets is... Straight up second for me. The mystery is so good. 
and uh, you know the way all the this is this thing is huge. The way all the parts come together, the way you you get closer to the to the solution, to figuring out that Hagrid was involved, uh, the whole thing with him being at Borgen and Burks, Ginny killing the roosters. Um, it's just so brilliantly connected that I just have to uh, hold the Lucius Malfoy with the book and flourish in blood in blots, blots. I'm trying to cut off this thing's arm. Okay, I'm gonna give up and just leave. Bye, 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 bye. I just wasted a whole bunch of life on this. Oh my god! Jesus! Okay, 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 okay. Throw it. Throw it closer here. There we go. And that one's gonna do a bit of work for me. Um, but yeah, maybe after... I mean, I'm ranking the books in terms of mysteries. It's not a real ranking. I should have released that known before. Um, but yeah, I mean, I, I also really like the... I don't... Honestly, a contradictory opinion. I'm not a big fan of the Half-Blood Prince book. I'm not a big fan of either the book or the movie. Like, it's fine, and I get that JK's writing is much better by book six than in books one and two. That I can agree with. But the plot itself is not really that interesting. I'm sorry. It's a whole. There are a lot of chapters that are just exposition. It's just Voldemort exposition for so much of the book. Uh, and I know it's interesting to find out about the Gaunts, but why do I care about the Gaunts? They're so pointless, they're so meaningless in terms of the overall story that that they were even cut from the movie. Uh, and I, I don't think they should have been cut, because that's the whole point of Half-Blood Prince, is knowing about Voldemort's past. So as, even though it is extremely boring, it should have still have been included. Um, but it doesn't detract from the fact that it is, in fact, boring. So yeah, I don't like half Blood Prince that much. Prisoner of Azkaban is great. It's a great book. It's a great story. It's an awesome movie. Like, Prisoner of Azkaban is firing on all cylinders. Uh, Globulidifier is an excellent book in a really flimsy adaptation. Really flimsy. Um, Order of the Phoenix, I actually really like the book, despite the length. I know some people put it near the bottom because of the length, because they think it's too boring. Uh, I actually think it's way more interesting than Half-Blood Prince. It has way more interesting stuff going on. Because of him. Because of Umbridge. Umbridge is such a great character that she makes up the whole plot in Hogwarts way more interesting. So yeah, go Umbridge. Where am I? I'm so lost. I'm not lost, it's just a one-way path, but... It makes you feel as though you're lost. And Dornish Pixies bound. Uh, there we go. <laughs> this is fun. 